I haven't exercised in like such a long time because I played volleyball, then I hurt my back. So it's been like three weeks since I've really done any sort of exercise. And I just went on a bike ride for like a mile. And I'm dead, okay? You guys can see, like, I'm drenched in sweat, just dying. So what happens you guys get old, okay? But anyways, in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and showcase the new Evolved Trunks that I finally got with a Divine Passive. And then, this person called Bad Intuitions on Discord messaging and said, Hi Toad, big fan. I'm texting you to give you one showcase idea, since there's no video on YouTube about it yet. I think. So I got Unique Cell Perfect, and he's about to max evolve him. So we're gonna check that out too in this video. So if you guys are excited, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, turn notifications on. Uh, two of the new units, I guess, we're showcasing finally max evolved. But uh, yeah, okay, let's go again to the intro now. It's time for. Who wrote that comment? It's Donified. Oh, Jesus. Unique Dio? That's kind of good, I guess. For starters, first off, I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. It helps me out. It really supports me. Second off, uh, yeah, so this Trunks unit is about to get evolved. How do you get Trunks, Toad? Well, first of all, you're gonna need a ton of trunks. I've gotten a total of five trunks. And as you guys saw on my last video, I actually got divine on this one trunks, which is absolutely insane. So he's about to become one of my better units. But then again, I do have really good units already, so it really doesn't make a difference for me. Over here, the raids. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are new to this update, the raids are how you get this new champion. And in this raid, there's one specific raid that you're gonna have to do. It's this one right here, West City, Android Attack, Hard. When it tells you that it's hard, it means it's difficult, okay? I can't even solo this with my nearly perfect team. Even if I had a, well, maybe if I had a full team of uniques, I could solo it, but there's just too much damage, too much shield, and it's like it takes a little while for you guys to like level up your team if my entire team i have right here like if gray was unique if uh guild arts was unique let's say even if erza was unique yeah i'd probably be able to solo it um but it would be a little difficult still even with unique gray um i have unique lucy too if my entire team was unique i could do it but there's two items or units that will be dropped one of them being trunks legendary the other one being epic cell this is Epic Cell's day stats. I went ahead and got a semi-perfect cell. This is the evolved version of this cell right here. And then there's actually one more evolved version of this cell semi-perfect. Unfortunately, it takes you 16. I think it takes you 16 imperfect cells. So you need 16 raids with this cell right here, guys. And you need to have, well, at least 16 because it has to drop the cell unit. So it will take you guys a ton of raids in order to get the cell to the evolved version. But this person here that messaged me said he got unique on cell perfect. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what its max damage is going to be. So we did get chunks over here. You're going to want to talk to Krillin. He sells three things. You need a mini time machine to evolve trunks, an infinite power core, I think that's gonna be to evolve cell, and then you're gonna need, like I said, 16 cell imperfects. So you're gonna have to do a ton of these raids in order to get yourself that evolved cell. I'm actually not even gonna work on it because that's too much work for me to do. I'm just gonna stick with my one trunks that I managed to get, but this is where you get your tickets, you do the raids, so on and so forth. Anyways, let's go ahead and finally evolve our trunks. As you guys see right there, I do have the mini time machine in our inventory. And then we have our trunks level 100 with a divine. So I'm gonna go ahead and just unlock him now because I know we're gonna have to unlock him. Be careful not to sell him. Imagine if I accidentally sold this trunks who is divine. Um, yeah, that cost me a lot of spins. I, I would actually rage quit today's video. But that's not what we're doing, and don't get any funny ideas. I'm not rage quitting any videos soon. Hopefully not on purpose, at least. But over here, here's our trunks. Evolve him. There you go. You guys are going to need four legendary trunks. I already have this one, trunks. He gets 260% damage, and he learns Heat Dome. We'll take that one capacity mini dome thing and four trunks. Like I said, here's his day stats right there. 800 damage. 7.6 SPA and 21.2 range. Let's go ahead and evolve trunks. Pick him over here, select, evolve. 
100, level 100 with Divine, and there is Super Trunks Divine Evolved Mythical. Super exciting. I'm actually kind of happy to have him on the team because I heard he's like a full circle AoE, and he might even hit air and ground units, which makes him like a Gon. You know what I mean? Like a Gon slash a Roly. Maybe even better than a Gon and Roly. You know what I mean? He's just that good. He, he's just good. Okay. There it is, Divine Sutra Trunks finally evolved. Let's see what his damage is looking like. 2,297 damage, 7.1 SPA, and 22.5 range. He can take a total of four to be placed. So his damage is comparable to, I'd say Shanks, it looks like. Yeah, same range, same damage, same pizza, better ingredients, Papa Russo. You guys know what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and lock him. And actually, let's go ahead and equip him in the first spot so we can see what he looks like. We'll get Bulma back in just a second. But there he is, Evolved Trunks with his divine wings. Looks super cool. And he's not stabbing our Toad Buddy, so that's a 10 out of 10. I like the character. I really like the clothing on the character. Actually, looks really cool. Really cool, actually. I like how he looks. Anyways, go back to your spot. And then Bulmy. Back to number one. And then Trunks. Let's go ahead and see where the other guy is. And we'll get to join him in a game. And we'll be able to showcase a unique cell fully evolved as well. So we'll be right back once we're actually doing something in a battle. And there we have it, boys and girls. There is our user right there with the unique perfect cell. That looks absolutely amazing. Hello. He looks so cool. Literally, that cell in that pose is reminding me of Dio for some reason. And now that he has that, I kind of want it. Not gonna lie. Uh, join me. And let's see if he joins me. Better than second form. Yeah, second form was kind of that, actually, not gonna lie. But I already cleared my uh, fruit mission over there because you guys are gonna need fruits if you guys are wanna try to get the new units for the next update, update six, which is very soon. But over here, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Planet Namek Infinite, let him join us real quick, and then we'll start. And we'll just go ahead and start farming, and then we'll show you guys all the stats and everything for all the units. So just hold on. So uh, unfortunately, AA, aka Advent God, forgot his uh, farming it, so we're gonna have to wait a few waves here. But what I can do is go ahead and place my Divine Trunks. Let's go ahead and have Coyote attack one more time. And now this is all gonna be up to Trunks to save the world. There's Trunks, he looks super cool. He does his like beam attack, which not gonna lie, I don't know what that beam's called. 7.1 SPA, 2,292 damage with 22 range. You guys can place a total of four of him. Let's go ahead and focus that one at a time though. So first upgrade, and then he already gets a like, there you go, there's the beam attack. He already gets a burning attack on his second upgrade. His damage is up to 6,500, and he does like a Masenko kind of thing, where he jumps in the sky and he just, here, let's do this, watch. Uh, oh, there's no view anymore. He used to be able to view the unit, like if he pressed on it, but I guess they got rid of that feature. Anyways, he does that. Third upgrade, fourth upgrade already doing 13,000 damage, and then on the fifth upgrade, he gets 19,000 damage, 5.8 range and 27, oh, 5.8 uh, cooldown, 27 range. Does he do like a big charge attack? What is he doing right there? That's really cool. He charges up, he attacks with his swords, and then this like big beam comes out of his sword, which is actually really cool. I really like the animation for that. Whoever did that, 10 out of 10, I really like that. It looks really cool. Don't you guys agree? I think that's a really cool move. Anyways, next upgrade, 7,000, 9,500, and then, at upgrade eight, he finally learns Heat Dome. So let's get Heat Dome. And this is where he becomes full AOE like going. Look, he nearly fills out this entire section of the map. I think if I had placed him like right here, he would hit from spawn all the way to over there in the corner where the map goes. Uh, yeah, look, there he is fully maxed out. 45,948 damage, 5.8 SPA. So if I were to go ahead and do the math real quick, it'd be 60 seconds divided by 5.8 and he attacks every 10.3 seconds times 45,948 damage means he does 475,000 damage times four, which means he does 1.9 million total damage, guys. This chunk says 1.9 million damage 
every minute. So well, at least if I had four of them. Look at that. If I place them right there, he's literally hitting everyone right here. Except for maybe that corner and that little corner right there. But he's super OP, super strong. And I'm actually really excited that I have him because he's a really good damage unit. He's honestly even better than Natsu. And what's really cool about his circle like attack is that it's a multiple hit kind of thing. So it's not just one hit. It does a total of five hits. Kind of like how Coyote does his hit. So if I were to compare him to anyone, I'd compare him to Coyote. I can't even compare to Coyote because Coyote is a, has the wolves. But I compare him to Netero and I'd say he's a stronger version of Netero. Especially since he has this full circle AOE. Now, we have Cell. Let's see what Cell can do. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell my trunks right here, this trunks, and here's Cell, 6,598 damage. His damage is insane. And he's max level, right? Oh, there he is. So the attack is actually kind of the same as the old Cell where he just does the like full beam. Let's see upgrades. Upgrade until the next attack, please. All right, so we're gonna focus on top of him. 6,500 damage, six SPA, 17 range, 13,000 damage, and then same attack. So let's see, next, next. Oh my gosh, he's at 19,000 damage with second upgrade already, guys. 5.1 second cooldown. Now he is a hill unit, you guys cannot forget that. So that does kind of ruin him a little bit, the fact he's a hill unit. That's pretty cool. What is next? Um, let's see, next upgrade's gonna get him probably like to 30,000 maybe? 32,000, jeez! 32K already. All right, next upgrade. Let's see, uh, 48,000. 43,000, okay. Does he learn a new attack at that upgrade right there? It doesn't look like he does. Okay, that's okay. And then next, I know all I'm typing is next right now. <laughs> Punishment Storm is his next attack. 54,000 damage. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Is that like a cone or a circle? That is a really cool attack, actually. 54,000 damage right there, guys. Circle. Oh, that's so cool. And it's huge, it looks like. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Look at the effects right there. Let's watch it from this angle. Boom, and then they all just die. Alrighty, what's next? Next upgrade. Next. Smiley face. <laughs> 71,000 damage. Okay. Big damage, lol. Next. 87,000. Once again, more damage. Better pizza, better... Oh, his range is actually really good too now. At 28.6 means he's basically like the trunks right there. He can almost hit every single unit that comes out of this. 87,000 damage. Is he gonna hit 100,000? Oh, he's gonna learn Solar Kamehameha. 109,000 damage. Is that a circle or beam? Look at that attack. That attack looks really cool, actually. Watch his animation. Circle. Bam. That is actually so cool. Hold on. I might want to take like a screenshot of that. Uh, I need to close the chat. Hold on. Uh, circle, yes. That might even be my thumbnail right there. You guys see how cool that is? Boom. Oh, that is such a cool attack right there. He's at 109,000 damage. Any more upgrades? Question mark. That's a, I, I don't think he's done yet. Two more upgrades. Okay, I wasn't expecting two more, maybe one more. All right, let's see them. Let's see them. 109,000 goes to 137,000 with 38 range. Jeez. Uh, that was a that, that was a huge increase in his range, actually. And last upgrade, he's going to be at 164,000 damage with that massive range and 5.1 second cooldown. Let me let me try to do the math real quick. So like I did earlier, 60 seconds in a minute, so 60 divided by 5.1 is equal to 11.7 times his current damage is 164.952.
He does 1.94 million damage, so he's a bit stronger than Chunks, and he also hits air units, so of course, he's a great unit to have. You can also place four of these cell units, which is really good and really helpful, but uh, yeah, that's a really strong OP unit. If you guys remember, like, Coyote's also unique. Here's a comparison to him to Coyote. Here's Coyote max out right there. So Coyote does more damage technically, but Cell attacks twice as fast as Coyote. So actually, Cell is doing way over, almost twice as much damage as Coyote is doing. He's doing 330,000 every 10 seconds, and Coyote is only doing 197,000 plus his Spirit Wolves every like 30. So this Cell is insanely strong, unique. If you guys are going to go for any unit, I suggest you guys go for Cell and try to get unique because that is huge right there. 164,000 damage. I hope you guys like this. It might have been a long video, but that's okay. It was worth it because now you guys can see just how good these units are. I hope you guys are excited for update 6, I believe is what it's going to be. Um, if I find anything, I'll let you guys know. But uh, that's it. Resistances. Bye.